Today we did mass, mass stoichiometry. Today we're doing step mass volume stoichiometry. The difference here is you're dealing with molar volume. And remember, molar volume, one mole is 22.4 liters of any gas at STP. So that's the difference. Instead of using atomic mass or formal mass, we're going to use molar volume. So let's look at a problem. Okay, determine the volume of carbon dioxide gas formed when 33.22 grams of butane, C4H8, H10 rather, is burned in the presence of oxygen, excess of oxygen. Well, burn tells us the combustion. So there's our combustion reaction, C4H10 plus O2, yields we have CO2 plus H2O, bounce it up. We get c 2 c 4 h 10 plus 13 O2s, gives me HCO2s plus 10 c h 2 os Put our given information over one, convert it to moles. So atomic mass, I have 48 grams, four times 12, 48 grams. Hydrogen, 10 times 1, 10 grams, add them together. I get 58 grams is 1 mole. 1 mole of C4H10 is 58 grams. From a balanced equation, 2 moles of C4H10 is 8 moles of CO2, since I'm asking you to find the volume of. So our equality, 2 moles of C4H10 is 8 moles of CO2. So we get a fraction of 8 moles of CO2 over 2 moles of C4H10. And then we're doing molar volume, because we're doing volume of a gas, so therefore, one mole of CO2 is 22.4 liters of CO2. We put it up that way, all our units cross out, we get 51.32 liters of CO2, and that's our answer. Copy this one, we'll do in class. What is a mass of carbon needed to form 98.22 liters of carbon dioxide gas, in the sense of carbon dioxide, and calculate the volume of water vapor is formed if 33.929 liters of oxygen react with excess hydrogen. That's it, we're done. Take care, be good. Bye.